The sun, if seen from its nearest star neighbor, would appear as a bright star among thousands. And from that neighboring star traveling at the speed of light, it would take more than four years to reach the solar system. half billion years ago, the sun and its planets were born when an immense cloud of hydrogen and cosmic dust began to condense. As the huge cloud collapsed, pulled inward by its own gravity, a massive sphere circled by a great rotating disk of gas and dust took shape. As millions of years passed, pockets of whirling matter in the disk consolidated. When the central sphere, heated from the energy of its own collapse, reached a million degrees, nuclear fusion was ignited. And so, the sun began to shine. The young planets emerged, bathed in radiant sunlight. Swinging in vast orbits around the sun, the planets evolved for billions of years, and each became unique. Mercury, closest planet to the sun, is overwhelmed by its fiery parent. It is thought that the sun baked away half the original substance of Mercury. The lighter elements vaporized, leaving behind a planet of rock and metal, one-third the size of Earth. With no atmosphere or erosion, craters left by meteorites remain fresh forever. There's little chance for any form of life here. At noon, lead would melt. At night, the temperature becomes cold enough to make iron as brittle as glass. In the black sky, we see the neighboring planet, Venus. Venus was once considered Earth's twin, but rather than a heavenly twin to Earth, Venus, named after the goddess of love, is under its clouds a fiery hell. The clouds of Venus resemble the kindly clouds of Earth, but are made of carbon dioxide and traces of corrosive acid. The atmospheric pressure of Venus is 90 times greater than Earth's. The tops of the clouds are freezing, but under the clouds, 
Trapped heat from the sun keeps the planet a raging inferno. It is unlikely we will ever find any evidence of life on Venus, past or present. For if living creatures ever walked on this planet, both they and the cells of which they were made would long ago have been scorched beyond recognition. Friends live and birds friends live and birds sing in the trees and birds sing in the trees where friends live and birds sing in the trees